I'm Dr. Sibhi Vijay Kumar from AIMS Bhopal. I'm doing residency in forensic medicine and toxicology. Today I'm going to discuss about uh, organophosphorus. I am going to give a brief introduction about it. Organophosphorus compounds are a diverse group of chemicals which includes insecticides like malathion and parathion etc. And it also includes nerve gases like soman, satin, tabun and VX. Uh, these components are uh, synthesized early in the 1800s uh, in Berlin and Schrader in Germany uh, which are uh, used as insecticides, basically commonly used for uh, killing insects. And however, uh, German military prevented the use of organophosphorus because they wanted to use these in uh, the military as a war uh, warfare agents. So what is warfare agents? Warfare agents can be uh, defined as chemical substances, whether gaseous, liquid or solid, and biomedical uh, products such as microbes and toxins, which might be employed because of the direct toxic effects on man, animals and plants. This includes chemical warfare agents and these chemical warfare agents are considered as the most toxic compounds. In this chemical warfare agents, there are lots of classifications and the main classification, which is the uh, nerve agents, this nerve agents basically belong to the organophosphate compounds, which inhibits tissue cholinesterase in humans at even small dosages. So it is considered as very toxic. Uh, there is a history regarding this on March uh, 20, 1995, a terrorist, terrorist attack has been happened in um, Tokyo, Japan where almost 12 people were killed and almost uh, 3,000 to 4,000 people were uh, uh, traumatized due, uh, due to these attacks. I will show you a little video on this, which uh, shows that... Uh, I'm invisible terror, and I would think that they'll act. But for thousands of Turkey of Kadim was returning to work, the unthinkable became a terrible reality on Monday morning. They staggered out of the subway, eyes streaming, noses bleeding, many collapsing. Others suffered convulsions and vomiting. Six people were killed, poisoned by gas canisters left on several trains. Ten more of Zykins were covered, badly affected by the deadly gas which spread through the carriages. Rescuers in protective seats were swept out the sea, lessons learned from the Kobe earthquake. It seems the fields contain carrion, a nerve gas developed in Nazi Germany, said to be 500 times more toxic than cyanide. You can see in that video, they themselves mentioned that it is 5,000 times uh, more toxic than cyanide. And when they investigated those cases, they can't find uh, sarin in the victims of those cases. Because they have concluded by saying that this sarin has passed through the blood bar brain barrier and uh, get distributed inside the brain tissue. Uh, on exposure to these compounds uh, uh, on high concentrations, uh, the usual symptoms we develop is uh, neurobehavioral, uh, cognitive and uh, neuromuscular uh, uh, damages, uh, uh, which is related symptoms. and. The first evidence of this syndrome, this type of uh, psychopathologic neurologic uh, lesions were first reported by uh, Spiegelberg who worked on uh, production and handling uh, high toxic nerve gases in uh, Germany. Uh, he, uh, there were the, according to symptomatology, the groups were divided into two. Uh, one, with, uh, one group has persistently low vitality and ambition uh, defective autonomic regulation, which leads to cephalgia, uh, gastrointestinal and cardiovascular symptoms. The second group with uh, uh, is classified according to sympt also symptomatology, but this has uh, still more extra symptoms like depressive or uh, sub-depressive disorders of uh, vital function, uh, cerebral vegetative attacks, uh, slight or moderate amnestic or dementia effects. So, uh, according to symptomatology, uh, the uh, groups have been uh, divided into two. And basically, it was uh, manufactured uh, for the use of ag uh, agricultural, in the agricultural field. And it's been used, used since uh, World War II. The function of this uh, is the, which I have already told, uh, 
it usually inhibits the uh, acid uh, cholinesterase enzyme and even in insects uh, it also perform the same action in insects the nerves of uh, some some of the nerves uh, contains this acetylcholine and uh, uh, this when uh, organophosphate uh, combines with that it causes uh, muscular cell contraction etc and acetylcholine so stimulates the muscle cell to contract and which i have already told and due to excessive contraction uh, the insect dies and organophosphates are acutely uh, toxic because they chemically bind to the acetylcholinesterase enzyme in such a way that it cannot destroy acetylcholine and the insect dies with its uh, muscles in a prolonged state of contraction the use of pesticides have led to massive increase in fruit production a significant reduction in crop losses and improved yields among many other uh, among many other advantages and it not only affects uh, uh, insects but it also affecting the humans as acetylcholine is also uh, one of the uh, chief component in humans and due to its widespread use in the uh, uh, community uh there is uh, bio accumulation of pesticides in the environment and organochlorine pesticides which uh, which was used for a long time before now it is stopped because its long persistence in the nature and nowadays only organophosphorus and carbamates uh, are used but even though the advantages are more than the organochlorine components this has uh, carcinogens and muto mutagens uh, which is uh, harmful for us and uh, how we are exposed to these components or via uh, dermal absorption or inhalation or uh, oral ingestion so the other effects which uh, which are caused by this to the to the humans or uh, high genotoxicity hepatic dysfunction embryotoxicity teratogenicity and introduction of new and induction of neuro behavioral and neurochemical changes as well as interfering with vitamin d3 metabolism and many studies have uh, even found the association between organophosphorus and uh, increase in the incidence of uh, chronic diseases like cancer uh, birth defects reproduction disorders uh, neuro degenerative cardiovascular and respiratory diseases and also uh, one of the study which uh, proved the association between the organophosphorus and increase in the uh, risk of obesity and type 2 diabetes mellitus and i uh, uh, another study which says that uh, this can also lead to childhood overweight and obesity and obese children have these obese children have worse psychosocial health and are more likely to be overweight or obese as adults with an increased risk of developing cardiovascular disease or type 2 diabetes also genes are chemicals that inappropriately alter lipid hemostasis and may increase susceptibility to weight gain across the lifespan particularly when exposures occur during susceptible periods of development such as prenatal period these organophosphorus are considered as absogenes as this increase uh, this uh, increase the weight of the uh, children who whose parents were exposed to uh, organophosphorus during the uh, conception as i already to uh, discussed about the environmental uh, features and uh, in nondal hazards of the poisoning uh the, uh, although they are uh, there more there were almost 1.5 million tons of pesticides being manufactured irrespective of all this because of its um, uh, usefulness in the agriculture and extremely hazardous pesticides are also available in many developing many developing countries even in india if you are seen in many uh, indian markets you can easily get uh, these uh, hazardous pesticides even without any prescription and they are selling at a uh, 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 selling at the back so these chemicals are uh, in many of these hazardous chemicals are actually uh, uh, banned in for from many developed countries and it also the uh, not only uh, they are used in warfare uh, uh, wars or uh, environmental hazards this also is used for suicidal uh, attempts and studies says that uh, op poisoning in india uh, the suicidal intentions were found to be uh, 67.4% 
and in an australian study it is said that uh, 36 per- percentage of patients had suicidal intentions uh, while consuming this uh, op poison and uh, also another study says that uh, national insurance report which says that uh, pesticide injuries range from 70000 to 80000 annually uh, now coming to indian scenario uh in north india the common poisoning uh, is considered to be al- aluminum phosphide and in south india it is uh, considered as uh, organo phosphorus being considered as the uh, most common uh, poison and uh, this is one of the study which is uh, conducted by a doctor who is working named bopal while he was uh, working in uh, rewa uh, madhya pradesh uh, he, uh, which this was uh, a two year study from 2010 to 2012 in this uh, almost 550 cases were analyzed among the 550 cases organo phosphorus uh, were leading almost uh, 128 cases uh, uh, were organo phosphorus in their side, uh, study and uh, the fatality rate is uh, only 7.03 compared to the other poisons and this is the data of uh, our aims bopal pac uh, poison information center uh for this is a data of 4 years from 2000 uh, 20, uh, 19 to 2023 and uh, and in this uh, among the category of agrochemicals the one uh, there are 176 calls were received in this agrochemicals uh, organophosphorus uh, the number of organophosphorus uh, poisoning the related calls we received almost uh, 25 uh, which is quite a uh, number and i think uh, this is the most poison uh, most calls this poison this uh, most calls we have received for this uh, organo phosphorus poisoning and by this i am finishing my uh, introduction basic introduction and uh, of uh, organo phosphorus and uh, thank you this is uh, this is a reference i have used for the presentation